Hello everyone again. In this video, I'm going to show you another um, demo winner from the recent internal Definity Hackathon. This one is the final winner. It's a real treat. Um, it's a demo uh, created entirely by Ben Lin. Now, Ben Lin is one of the um, Definity OGs that's been uh, with us really since almost, almost the beginning. Um, he's a cryptographer. He created, uh, or, or you know, was was a part of the team that created BLS threshold cryptography. Um, he's the L in BLS, and uh, he's also an absolutely extraordinary um, computer scientist and software engineer. So um, Ben is known for um, pulling off incredible feats of programming. In in fact, uh, the very first um, uh, Definity Network prototype. Um, shown in late 2017, was, was largely programmed by him. Um, he's an absolute genius. Now, um, Ben um, went to town with his demo, and this is the best way I can explain it. You're going to have to watch it for yourself. Um, it opened, it's called Sidekick, and it looked like, right, okay, so Ben's created some kind of, you know, game, DAP, that runs off the internet computer. Um, that's cool, of course, um, but you know, all right. And then you see it, and it gets a bit further in, and and all of a sudden, he's then showing you the back end, which also runs on the internet computer, which is like a sort of, you know, game builder environment. So um, this maze thing that that the game that's you know playing on the internet computer is actually generated um, by all this data that you can configure into the smart contract behind it. Uh, and so that's already getting a you know hell of a lot um, more more impressive. And you're just like, uh, okay. And then um, you see that he's got his own, you know, scripting language for the game. And uh, that not only not only that, this scripting language is being compiled inside the browser into WebAssembly um, that he's then downloading from the browser and uploading um, to the internet computer, at which point um, you're just sort of like, uh, it was kind of funny when the demo was given, everyone was just like, <laughs> um, it's, it's really, really, um, you know, just amazing. And um, it's incredible to see that one person could um, sort of combine so many <laughs> different kind of disciplines, you know, game design, framework design, and um, language and compiler design <laughs> into, into one demo. Um, so uh, yeah, get ready for a technical tour de force. Without further ado, let's watch it. Uh, 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 so this is sort of one where you got to push crates onto target squares like so. And um, oh, great, I read the level, but that's not the point. So this isn't the full story. The game is just a tiny part of it. So if we go out here, we see we actually have a game editor and um, how do I get rid of this sharing thing? But anyway, uh, so you can edit the graphics of the game. For instance, if, let's say I want to give this guy a little uh, black stripe along his shirt. We can just edit the pixels here and um, you can edit the rules. So if you don't feel like crates should be pushed, you can change that part. It's a bit like Baba is You, if you know that game. Um, and we can make this game, we can make the first level easier by just putting, getting rid of some walls here. So that's, <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, let's try that. And uh, yeah, that's much easier. And, <laughs> Uh, and so uh, you can save and um, load the games on, they persist on the, on the canister, on the IC. And, um, and it, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, for, I've just got some demo games here. You know, I'll, I'll post a link in the chat so you can play with this yourself. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it, but this isn't the full story, actually. So I've, this is a canister that, that uh, edits games. I didn't come up with this language, by the way. It's called Puzzle Script. It's a pretty cool invention. But um, so what I really want to show is this thing. Um, it's given a minute to load. Um, and here we see a sort of, um, you can type in code here. Let me give a, um, probably the most fun demo is this one. And then if you click the run button, it compiles and runs this code in the browser. And you can, yeah, this one plots this uh, pretty picture over here using just these lines of code. And um, I guess the interesting part for me is that you can click this button down here, download Wasm canister and build a canister from the code that you just wrote. So right now I'm gonna build a canister live and I hope it works. So let's, um, let's start with this. We'll have a function that returns, if you give it zero, it returns a, empty, uh, a list containing the empty string. If you give it N, 
then it prepends the character zero to every element of f n minus one. So you can imagine if you iterate this four times, you're going to end up with a list containing one string and or consisting of four zeros. So let's see if I'm right about that. Um, right. Um, yeah, and there we go. And now if you concatenate the list where you prepend one to every element of f n minus one, well, you're going to end up with um, a binary counter because you're doing you're adding you're adding zero in front of all the possibilities and adding one in front of all the possibilities, so you end up with a binary counter. And now, look, now the next question is, what happens if you reverse the second list before you concatenate? Now, I'm not going to we're going to reveal the answer with a canister. So that's um, there's a magic incantation I have to write here to, to turn this into a canister because you've got to give it a, a query name. Let's just call it go. Um, that's the function I want to ex ex export. I'm going to download the Wasm canister and this canister wasm can be deployed to the internet. I'm just going to have to share my terminal for now. Um, it's probably ah, uh, stupid Zoom. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Um, share screen. Oh, geez. Uh, this one, I guess. Okay. Can you see my terminal now? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Okay. So let's go make a temp directory um, demo. Um, let's copy that canister wasm I just downloaded. Um, and then I'm going to have to copy the instructions from my page. So you've got to make a, a DFX JSON file. Otherwise, DFX won't like it. So there it is. And you've got to make an empty um, kind, of, kind of description file. And now it can be deployed, except I have to start um, I have to start a DFX. I'm not going to deploy on the live net. I don't want to waste cycles on this stupid demo. So there we, um, and once the local one, oh, OK. Um, In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, I'll, I'll just show you this, this is a full-blown compiler. It has other things. It's got arbitrary precision math with uh, myself. I didn't use GMP or anything. So um, oh, you know, I can't show you because this, this, it's not shared on the screen. Um, I also have a rock, paper, scissors engine, a scissors engine, which you can play. It's got a multiplayer, massively multiplayer rock, paper, scissors game you can play. Um, you have to explore yourself, I'm afraid. This is, there's way too much content for four minutes. Um, I've got uh, <laughs> I've got a candid um, candid decoder with a, that explains every field as it goes, like seaboard.me, and I've got a hex maze solver, and a, um, uh, and a, yeah. So basically, this thing I use this canister to build the canister to build the game that you saw at the beginning. So it's a SDK on the IC. Um, you don't need any other tools. You just go to this page, um, run this stuff, and let's just see what the answer is. So DFX canister call Enigma go, and then we'll just um, pipe the raw output. Sorry, we'll pipe we'll Pipe the raw output to a hex decoder to see what the answer is. Whoops, I can't type today. Um, dash p. And so the answer is, if you re if you reverse the second list before appending it, then you end up with a, a gray code. A gray code, you, you still get every combination, but adjacent strings differ by exactly one bit, and that's just a, a pretty cool fact. 